As Big Ten teams are delving deeper into conference play, Penn State has quite the road ahead. Their next game, of course, is against the Michigan State Spartans, but they will be going into that matchup with some momentum coming off of a Big Ten home opener win against Minnesota. So we're joined now by Brandon Taylor from our studios in Happy Valley. And Brandon, that victory breaks a three-year streak of starting 0-6 or worse in conference play. How does it feel to have that monkey off your back? Um, I mean, it's a great feeling to finally, you know, finally get that early win. Because, you know, in my, in my last three years here, we, we haven't started off the best. So it's, it's definitely a, a good feeling to, like you said, get that monkey off our back. What was the locker room like after the victory? Um, I mean, we were happy we got the, uh, the win, but, you know, we didn't want to get too happy. You know, we've been there before. We, we've won games. So we just wanted to, you know, keep focusing and, and get, just get ready for Michigan State because we know it's going to be a 40-minute battle. I know you said you don't want to get too ahead of yourself, but does this year feel different to you? Um, I mean, it's different for me because, you know, I'm a senior. This is, this is my last year. You know, I, I don't have any more time. And um, I, I'm just trying to win every day, and I'm trying to tell my teammates that, you know, this, this, these four years go by quick. So, you know, treat every day like it's your last. That was a comeback win for the Nittany Lions, and you guys always seem to play hard regardless of the circumstance. How has that relentless mindset become a part of the culture at Penn State? I um, mean, that's the, that's the thing that we preach the most is just playing hard and, and keeping a great attitude because, you know, when, when the ball's not going through the hoop, that's what can get you the win is defense, you know, defending the rebound and just playing with energy no matter what. Now, I use the word relentless, and I know Coach Chambers always says that. Relentless, attitude, we can, among many others. What's your favorite Coach Chambers quote? Um, I mean, attitude for me. That's something that, you know, I've tried to, I tried to you know, instill in myself, you know, since, since high school. And um, coming in out of high school, I, my attitude was one of the things that I really needed to work on. So that's, that's the word that, that stands out to me the most because it's, it's something that can, you know, be with basketball but also can, you know, can, you can use it through life. In what ways did you need to work on your attitude? Um, I mean, I, I would, I would uh, complain about my teammates in high school and, and little things, you know, little immature things because, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I was a little kid at the time. So I didn't know how to be a great teammate. And that's one thing Coach Chambers taught me how to, how to do. You know, even though you're winning or losing, you can still be a great teammate. And how were you able to grow in that aspect? Um, just worrying about the little things and not worrying about, you know, other people's mistakes. You know, look at myself in the mirror and figure out what I need to do to help the team and, and help the team improve. You've struggled a little bit with foul trouble this season. So how do you work on balancing that aggressive play? Um, I mean, that's just playing, playing hard and playing smart at the same time. You know, we got to uh, defend without fouling. That's, that's an important piece. You know, we, we got to stay, myself, I got to stay on the floor. And we, we have other players, you know, who need to stay on the floor because they're such an, uh, an, uh, you know, uh, a big piece of our defense. So defending and rebounding without fouling is probably the most important thing, especially in the Big Ten. Now, at this point, you have already had more two-point baskets than you had all of last year. Is it strange to hear that? Um, I mean, that's something that I've been working on the whole year, you know, since last year is, is not just being a, a three-point shooter and, and working on my game and finishing around the basket because that's something that coach told me that I'm going to need to do. I'm going to need to get to the free throw line more. I'm going to need to, you know, use my, uh, my, my shot as a, as a threat to get to, the, uh, get to the paint. Would you say that you're a different player? Uh, yeah, I would say I'm, I'm a different player because, you know, I didn't, I didn't play in the post last year and I was more just a pick and pop guy. But now I'm trying to trying to mix my game up and do and do different things. You have lost almost 40 pounds since your freshman year. The world wants to know what is the secret to losing all that weight? <laughs> um, stay away from McDonald's, uh, <laughs> fast food, fried foods, you know, just just changing everything about, about what I did before. You know, you know, not drinking sodas, drinking water and Gatorade and just staying away from the things that, you know, might taste good, but it's not good for you. OK, be honest. Did you cheat at all on your diet? Was there one time <laughs> you slipped up just a little bit? Will Coach Chambers be watching this? No, this is only us. <laughs> no, not, no one on TV is even going to watch it. <laughs> Uh, there might be a few times, especially after a, a nice win. Maybe that Michigan win uh, my sophomore year where I, or my freshman year where I, I might have cheated a few times, just, just a little bit. But, you know, I tried to stay on track for, for most of the time. But what did you eat? What was the weakness? Um, my, weakness is, my weakness is probably candy. <laughs> I ate a whole bunch of candy all the time. 
if this candy that I'm probably just going to pick it up and, and take it. Especially, you know, I got teammates that, that eat a lot of candy, so if they have it, I'm probably going to take some too. Hey, Brandon, how long have you been growing your hair? Um, since seventh grade. And, uh, yeah, seventh grade is when I first got them. Did you just wake up in one morning and say, hey, I want dreadlocks? Um, actually, my aunt, I was going to cut my hair. I used to have a, a fro, and I was going to cut them. And then she was just like, why don't you get dreads? Because, you know, my parents are Jamaican, so it's a heritage thing, so I got dreads. Have you ever been to Jamaica? Yeah, I've been a few times. What's your favorite part about it? The beach. Uh, you can sit out there all day at the beach and just get in the water, and it's, it's so warm, and it's just it's a, it's a relaxing place. Okay, so you've got the dreads due to your heritage. What would it take for you to cut it? Uh, I don't know. Um, I already had the trimming when I first got here, which, which was very painful. Uh, I don't know. For me to cut them, it, I don't know. I have to get paid or something. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all could get those off your head, right? <laughs> right. All right, well, Denzel Valentine is expected to return when he plays you guys. How do you stop him and the Spartans? Um, you know, he's, he's a main part of their offense. And, you know, everybody on their team is, you know, attacks the basket and can shoot. Or, you know, they do something very, you know, very good. And, you know, he does everything. So we're not just going to try to focus on him, but he's definitely a main, uh, main key of their offense. Because if we just try to put our, all our focus on them, we can, you know, lose track of their other players who can, you know, affect us on the offensive end and the defensive end. All right, Brandon Taylor. And you know you have a great last name, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for joining us, and good luck against Michigan State. Thank you.